What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, man. I'm back in the building, and we're doing another video. We're, we're talking about what Cowboys needs, right? Cowboys need a linebacker, but that's the thing. We've been Dallas fans, uh, media, everybody alike. Everybody been screaming linebackers. We saw how bad it was. Dan Quinn converting safeties to linebackers. We got rid of line. Dallas got rid of linebackers during the middle of the season. It was a linebacker less team. You were relying on a Damone Clark, who he's not the physical guy. He's, um, you know, he, just the instincts weren't there. I thought he regressed maybe a little bit. I said he was a hundred tackle guy, but were they impactful tackles? Were they tackles that made a difference? And we didn't see that from the linebackers this year. Dallas, Dallas desperately needs linebackers coming into this draft. So basically, I just been pulling up linebackers that we've been talking about in today's uh, little quick session is going to be over uh, with Peyton Wilson from NC State. Now, I've been hearing a lot of noise about Peyton Wilson in the streets before I went to the Senior Bowl, and I wanted to know what this buzz was about. I went to the Senior Bowl, watched him. I was very impressed with him. He's a guy that sticks his face in the mud. Uh, I have a quick interview. Sorry if it looks crazy, but I couldn't download it where you could just see the interview. You'll see a little bit of my YouTube on the side, so don't trip off of it. Just listen to the interview. I'll t pull it up as high as it is. Listen to what he has to say, and then we'll talk about what he says. And I want to pull up a game in particular where I saw some things where I'm like, yes, he's really good, but. Mm, we'll kind of wait till a little bit of rounds, but check out this interview I had with um, Peyton uh, Wilson, and uh, then we'll jump into some stuff. Tell me what you and Hillary offer to a team right now, especially if you were playing like the middle line, like a spot with the green down. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I just told you guys, I think my versati versatility is just, it's unmatched. I think that you can put me anywhere on the defense that you want and I'll be able to play and make plays. Um, I think the passion and the energy and the uh, fearlessness that I bring, I mean, I've dealt with injuries throughout my career, so I play every single snap like it's my last. You never know when this game's going to be taken away from you, so every single snap, every single weight room rep, every single practice rep, I'm treating it like it's my very last. Okay, you play Mac? Yes, sir. Okay, who's your favorite team? My favorite team to play with, this is going to sound terrible, but I'm a North Carolina boy, so I'm trying to get the Panthers yeah. right. Okay, yeah. that's all yeah. right. That's all good. Yeah. Right. Now, how, how are you ranking your skills on a scale of 1 to 10 and don't lie? On Madden? Mm -hmm. When it comes to sports game, there's people out there that can beat me, but when it comes to first-person shooter and uh -huh. real video games, uh -huh. come see me. All right, I got you. <laughs> come see me. All right, baby. Hey. So that was my guy, Dom, asking another question, talking about that motor. But just what he really said, and if the main thing that you take anything away from Peyton Wilson is he's an all-out guy. He's got the ability. He has – I'm going to pull up his draft profile right quick. Pull that draft profile up right quick. Uh-huh. And get this right there. Anyway, what I was saying about Peyton Wilson, man, dude is everywhere. Uh <clears throat> Had 138 tackles, six sacks, and three interceptions. Kid is everywhere. More, if you see him in, in – he played a lot of a mic. You heard him say he can do the green die. He's versatile. He can play all along, along the line of scrimmage outside the tight end. He played he played the mic position, played in tight. Uh, his blitzing ability is very good, very good athlete. And like I said, his motor, his inspiration, He what he really says where he plays his last – plays every play like it's his last – it's no lie. When I watched him at the senior bowl, the dude has unmatched energy and he's going to uplift the defense just on that energy and what he's going to bring to the table. As you can, I'm showing some of his snaps right here as we kind of go through right here. You can see his uh, grade. Actually, I don't trip on the grades. Um, just look at the numbers right here. Defensive snaps, pass rushing snaps, run defensive snaps, cover snaps. You see his versatility all along the line. You can see where he was aligned all through the line alignment. Um, just a very good player, man. A guy who just, like I said, he sticks his nose. He's not, he's 238 pounds, so he's not the biggest dude. And you will be able to see this in this Miami game. He only had three games we had under 10 tackles. Okay. The high game was like 16. I think it was against this hurricane team there where they won. But it was, some things were concerning me in this game. He can get through the trash. He can get skinny. Uh, he can stack and shed. He can do those type of things. He's got good, strong, violent hands. He can drop and drop in coverage. He can cover your running backs out the backfield. He can do all those things. But some of the things that kind of just kind of obviously the the injury history, 
uh, that that kind of scares you uh, because he did have what he had a torn ACL in 2020 left shoulder in 2021. Um, and he had the knee brace, uh, as you saw, you'll see in this game uh, against that. Um, but man, um, you really love that. Those those things, uh, the injuries and maybe the size. I, he got washed up a little bit and some guys once they kind of get their hands on him, you can kind of get physical with them. Not that saying that he's not physical, but that size, I think that's going to be a concern for me in the NFL uh, because if you watch this game against Miami, it was everywhere. But when those guys got them hands on him, I mean, they kind of moved him out the way and got to squashed him out the play, washed him out the play. So those will be my concerns. So I would think he'd be absolutely three three down potential, yes. But I definitely say he's a weak side linebacker right now. He's got it like a kind of be like your the Swiss Army knife, I guess. The guy that can just you can insert him and he can just just come in there and quick make quick plays for you, quick plays. Not a guy that's gonna just maybe play all game in the pros right now, but somebody who can you can bring in and he can come in on the third down blitzing and you can just keep continue to bring him on, bring him on. I my like I said, the injuries really concern me because some guys may be relatively healthy when they get in college and they're in there and they they become healthy, but then when they get back in the pros, they're hurt all the time. That's what it kind of worries about me with him. But let me stop talking and let's watch some quick tape from Peyton Wilson. All righty, so here we go. Here's Wilson right here. As you can see him playing on the outside. Like I said, he played in the mic. He can line outside that tackle, right? I mean, that tackle, that tight end. Uh, he can break down, break out with those tight ends. Go to the flats with the running backs, um, over the middle crossers. He's everywhere what you can do. But uh, like I said, kind of just watch him when people get his hands on him, and that's kind of my concern uh, kind of going forward. But there he is. Here you go right here. Kind of just show you bits and pieces. How you see how you can break out, break down. You saw instantly how you can drop that foot. I like how you can drop that foot and instantly back up. If you've seen him in a lot of drills, he was really excellent when able to put that foot down, open the hips back up, turn and move, uh, turn back around. They were doing these kind of drills all day. This is a play right here where I wanted to show you like, bam, that's a play right there. I wanted to show you with number 84. We go here. He is. You'll see 84 right here, and you're going to see Wilson here on the outside. Now, good engagement, right? But this is where we're talking about the play strength. This is a tight end. That's play strength. All right, right. That's a tight end on him. Still made the tackle, but did you see how the physical side of it? That's where I'm a little concerned. So here we see him again here on the outside. He's a great blitzer, but you see I can get washed. Here we go here again out here. So I was saying playing outside that tight end. Now he's here on the other side, boom, but he comes in and makes the tackle. That's what he does. Okay. You see him right here playing in that middle. He's a green dot guy. Hmm. Almost got an interception right there. Excellent blitzer. Excellent blitzer. See him coming out here from the outside. He can play some quick edge if you want to send him in here. Like I said, he'll be that third down type of Swiss Army knife. But as I said, the biggest thing that I was seeing from him. Let's see him again right here. He's going to make the tackle, but do you see how? Watch right here. Those guys, those offensive lines, they get their hands on him. He, and see, he's not scared. See, this is what I love about him. He still makes the play on the tackle. He is not afraid to stick his nose in there. I think that's the biggest thing that I like about him. He is not afraid to stick his nose in there. Let's 
see him come out from this outside edge. Coverage drops in coverage, drops in coverage. Boom, great play. That's where you love him at right there. That's where you love him at. He can play great in coverage for you. Drop, great size. Look, anticipates to play, anticipates to play. Boom. Great defensive play right there. See me here, Gary, on the outside. And like I said, that's the my biggest worry with Wilson on the set on the next level in the NFL is when those big boys get their hands on him, they kind of push him around, and that's where I worry about the play strength. That's where I worry about the play strength. He's great here and dropping in coverage. Look out. He's, I mean, he's beautiful in coverage. I love the way he plays in coverage. If you really want one thing that you really like about him is how he can play in coverage. He can guard your receivers. He can guard your tights. He can guard your running backs. And I, I really like that about him. You won't really see it in this game. Here he comes in on the blitz. See right here, comes in on the blitz, good pressure, makes the catch. He's like, come on, man, what, what's the play? What's the play? I'll play. What's the play? Okay, I got you. I got you. He got good speed up in that middle. But once again, like I said, the thing that only concerns me is the play strength. Here you go. See him again right here. Got washed out a little bit. And I think one of the things that uh, he made the over aggressiveness, like I was kind of talking about um, with Edron Cooper, he has a little bit of over aggressiveness to run overrun the play. And in that trash, he, that's where he can get swallowed up in that trash. Good play right here. Wish he would have been able to knock that pass down. See him again right here. Good play. Good play. That's what he does. That's uh, Look at this play right here. May want to get a little bit lower, but did you see how instinctual he was? How he just glid right through that hole? Love seeing that. He just glid right through it. Here you got him at the bottom of the screen. Hmm. Tight end almost got you on that one, big dog. And the thing I love about him, when you send him as a blitzer, he has no fear. He, For his size, he don't have no fear of them big guys. You know, when we saw DeMond Clark or anything like that, we saw the, the kind of hesitation when he's blitzing or a hesitation to go in and really lay the wood. For this guy's size, he has no problem with that at all. None. He's going to stick his nose in there right here. He's going to stick his nose in there. He has no problem getting dirty. He has no pr problem getting grimy with it. That's what I love about him, as you can see him right here. He will stick his nose in that trash. His ultimate position to me will be that weak side. A good play right there. 
that was a good catch but you see how quick they come off that edge you got him coming at the bottom of the screen right here that was a good play And I think I love about him, too, is his pursuit. He don't give up on plays. This man will hawk you down, track you down. He will do whatever it takes. So I only want to go 15 minutes. I know we probably, I probably could have showed you more. Maybe I'll show another video because uh, it got plenty of games of him. But my quick thoughts of... Um, and let's get a good let's get a quick scouting report on because I like the draft network. They got a great scouting report on him. So you see he was a Chuck Ben Derrick award winner this year. Um, and you see what uh, Peyton Wilson is an athletic, physical, second level whose effort instincts make him one of the premium linebackers in the class. And if you can see all those things, not stop effort, hands, comfortable in space, athletic, range, explosive. You saw a, lot, a little bit of that, but you also saw a little bit of overgressiveness. But the biggest thing that you saw right here, play strength at the line of scrimmage and long term health. Those are going to be the two things that are going to be really are the things that you really want to watch with him. Um, is his play strength. He's got to get stronger. I don't know if he's going to be able to put more pounds on. And I'll kind of show you this scouting report. You can kind of read through it as I get ready to go off here. So I'll, I'll kind of scroll down so you can see what they have to say about him. But for me, me personally, Peyton Wilson, I did like three, mock, four mock drafts already, and they had him mocking in the third already. And I looked at the linebackers that were drafted last year. There was only one linebacker. I can't remember his name. It's from Iowa. I believe Jack Campbell from uh, Iowa went to the Lions. I think he was a first rounder. All the rest of those linebackers were third, fourth, fifth rounders. So this, this guy in particular, somebody could draft him in a second, but I think those injury concerns and that size being getting swallowed up may push him more to the third. That's where I would take him. If I was to draft him, I would take him in that third on that third. I know he won't last to the fourth because of his ability, but maybe the health concerns may push him down. We'll be, we'll see later on. Or some teams may say, we don't care about that. He's just a playmaker. And we'll do it. I think third round is good for me. It was always coming up on the draft as a third rounder and, the skill set is tantalizing, but that injury history and Dallas is known to have bad injury history. Third round is the earliest I would take him. I would really go fourth, but Dallas ain't got a fourth rounder. So the third, if he was there and you ain't got a linebacker, he's somebody I would look at. Let's get some more videos coming up. Sorry, this wasn't more detailed like my other one, but next one will be. So check it out. I have some people that told me to look at Jeremiah Trotter Jr. Um, definitely will but two guys i looked at edrin cooper and peyton wilson like both of them edrin cooper whew, that guy is nice uh peyton wilson very good player super versatile swiss army nice i swiss army knife guy um but those injury concerns are real that size play strength is real and those concerns will make me push him down in some uh further rounds for me Big Game James. I'm out. Talk to you soon.